Hi everyone! So the other day I posted a shop with me video at Hobby Lobby. So today I'm going to show you guys what I got. Plus I still have other stuff that I got like last week that I haven't recorded. So I'm going to see how much I can squeeze into this video because I try not to make them too long. But this was a new find were some glitter markers. So that whole like kids coloring section is on clearance. Not everything but a lot. So the only thing I got were these glitter markers. But there was crayons, pencil, like colored pencils, um, kids books, little girl journals, reading books, paints, all kinds of good stuff over there. So, and a lot of it was washable. So if you have littles and, you know, you just want to let them play around and, you know, be able to clean it up. I think that's a really good clearance to go check out. So these were on clearance for $2.24. So I grabbed those. And I tell you guys all the time, check the clearance. And if you've looked before, you just never know what's going to pop up. So for $0.44, cents, I got this little sun catcher painting kit. So I'm going to send that off in some happy mail. Then there was this beautiful velvet ribbon. It was $0.59 cents and they had two. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to stick one in my Christmas box and one in my Valentine's Day box. That way I have those all nice and good to go. And then, um, like over in the kids' toys, there were a bunch of different glow bugs. But, oh, you can see them right here. So there's like a scorpion, a fly, a cockroach, and a spider. But I got the spider. I love bugs. I was trying to be good and not buy them all because they had them on. I really, really wanted to. But spiders are my favorite. I actually have a tattoo on my shoulder. And his name is Sylvester. So, of course, I had to get the spider. Sunny Boy is terrified of spiders, so terrified. Uh, when he gets bit, he breaks out like in hives. So he's just always been terrified of spiders. So for 32 cents, I had to grab this one. And Sunny doesn't want like even plastic like this. He's just not about it. He wants nothing to do with it at all. So um, I had shown that the sequins were on clearance. And I just really, really love the little bumblebee and the little um, honeycomb hive. So I'm like, they had more. Oh, there's like sunflower in here. I didn't notice that. So it didn't look like anybody had touched them from when I was there. So I was like, okay, let me grab another one. They're still here. So uh, what is that? 57 cents for that one. <laughs> I gotta have to think about how much that was. Same thing with the red was still there, 24 cents. So I'm like, let me grab another one. Valentine's Day, um, Christmas. Like this is perfect for like sequence uh mixes that for swaps and I, these actually have like the holes on them so i can put them on like chunky charms so i'm like, okay just gotta get those and then the orange was 32 cents so i grabbed that one there was another one of these gold stars so 87 cents this is just really nice you can put this in like all of your sequence mix so i grabbed that one this one i don't remember getting last time and i like the little gold stars in here i don't know if you can see them over those like pink but I'm doing a um, spring swap. It's a little caboodle swap. So I thought maybe I could put that in there. But this was a dollar fifty, you guys. I don't know how they did their math on this, but if this is only eighty seven cents, why is this one a dollar fifty? I don't know. But that's what it's marked at. And then for fifty seven cents, I did get another pack of the little birthday mix. So I got that one. And then I had um, talked about that I wanted to go back to the store to get some Valentine's Day stuff. So I did because I was able to very easily pop these off. And then I did glue them onto a larger project that I still need to make a video of. I'm going to send out some happy metal people. And I had used this on some embellishment books. So they have love, kiss, and then there is actually a hug one. But that one was out when I went back. And then I got the little metal gnome. So these were, look, like 24 cents. Super, super cheap. And then I don't remember seeing this one the last time I was there. But it was 29 cents. So I grabbed that one. And then I don't remember seeing this one last time either. It's really cute. I'm going to leave this one for like a little wall decor. That was only, what was that, 34 cents for that one. Don't remember this little pillow last time either. That was 50 cents. I just thought it was so cute. It even has like February 14th. It's all... Um, embroidery i thought that was really cute and really fancy then i loved these little mushrooms i had got them the last time i was there and then i was talking about i wish i had got more because i think it'd be really cute to paint them black and do like skulls for halloween 
So there is a small size and a big size, and those were like 50 cents. Then they had um, more of these little gnome, you guys. Oh, I didn't realize how bad he was. That's okay. And a little mushroom. So again, I take these off of the little pick right here. You just got to kind of like work at it a little bit and just wiggle it around. And then the little pick will eventually come off. And then you could glue these on to, like I said, like an embellishment book. And then the last time I had bought the red hat gnome, and I think he said hugs. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get the pink one, even though I'm not like really a pink girl, but I love that it said love. Like I could always repaint this if I wanted to, so I might do that. So got that little guy. He was 79 cents, which I think is a really good deal. So my store finally did the B Design Co. brand. I love this brand. If I'm buying something, it's usually from them. Other than like the metal findings from Jewelry Shop. But for $2.50, you guys, I got some yellow. I definitely want to do Bumblebee projects. I've started a bunch, but I haven't like done like a whole big old like swap. So I'd love to do that. And then $2.74, I got some green. That's going to be good for St. Patrick's Day. And then they had this like pearl kind of like, I don't know, kind of like a dark pink, like a dusty rose kind of a pink. And that was $2.12. So, love that. So happy that I found those. And then I decided to get the card kits. So this is the pastel one. It was $5.62. I didn't realize it was a pack of 120. That is amazing. That's 120 cards that you can make because there's 240 pieces. I was like, whoa, that's really, really good for six bucks. So... I got the pastel one, and I think I got the bold color one. Let me check. It's in my other bag. Oh, yeah. Here is the bold color one. So you can see it's got, like, the same colors, but, you know, this one's, again, more bold, and this is in the pastel. So 220 cards, 240 cards here for, like, what, less than 12 bucks. I think that's really good. Like, I am all set. I'm definitely going to be doing some cards. I can't wait. I've been wanting to do cards for so, so long. I'm so happy that, like, I'm nice and stocked up. I can get rolling. Um, there is, like, a fall-looking one as well that I did get, like, on super clearance before, like, all of this inventory clearance started. So, I'm, like, super all set. But I did get more stuff while I was in that section. Uh, for $1.62, this one's just envelopes. And I just thought these were really, really pretty. So I'm like, why not? I've been wanting to do an envelope album forever, and I just haven't done it. And I love these, like, darker, like, you know, more neutral colors. So I just, yeah, I'm like, why not? So what, there's 50 envelopes in here? That's a lot. I could definitely do something fun with that. Then I did get... Like this baby blue for 99 cents. It makes 12 cards. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be joining a spring sh uh, swap. So I want to use that. And then I got black because black did not come in any of my card kits. And I love Halloween. I want to host a Halloween swap. So I'm like, I need to get some cards for that. And for only 99 cents for the 12 cards. I'm like, that's really good. I've been wanting to do a black and red Christmas project also that it's been on my mind for years and years and years and I just haven't done it. So I was like, yeah, I need some black cards for that as well. Oh my gosh. I love inventory clearance guys. Like, this is the time to just stock up and have fun. Oh, look, I found one more Christmas. Look, Rudolph, isn't he so cute? Yeah, he was a dollar, 99 cents. So, I was like, I have to grab him. He's so, so cute. So, I got that little guy. Oh, look at these. Can you see, like, the shine on them? Oh, the little iridescent. Love those wings. Those were 74 cents. I think they're so, so pretty. Then there was some colored jump rings. Those were a dollar twenty-four. What else do I have? Oh, look at these! More little like resin wings. Oh, I think they're so pretty. And they got like tiny little speckles of gold in there. So that was a dollar seventy-four for that one. Then we got some sunflowers. I think that'd go really cute with the bumblebee project that I want to do. So a dollar sixty-two for that one. Like, when they're at this price, you guys, you just have to, like, stock up. Like, so cute. Like, look at this one. 74 cents. 
Oh, there was only one, but I love it. Like, total Halloween vibes right here. Half of it is clear, and then half of it is that, like, silver. Love that. And then, uh, Sunny Boy got this one for my niece, so $2.50 for this guy. Uh, my niece likes that little cartoon, so she got that one. And then I did find a pack of these beads. These are so good. If you see them, snatch them up. 74 cents. They fit on pokey tools. And I think they did fit on beatable pins. I don't remember. I think I shared that in a video if they did or didn't. But they're such a good size. I just, oh, yes. 74 cents. Need this. 360 pieces. That's so good. Look at all those different colors you get in there. Love, love, love that one. Okay, I want to double check my bags, but that is everything, you guys. That was a whole lot of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for all your love and support. I super appreciate you guys. Um, I haven't done an update on my dad because we are kind of in like limbo right now if he needs another surgery or not and i'm just praying and i really appreciate it if you guys say a little prayer for me <laughs> that i don't go crazy and for my dad um he's at what nine months of recovery from his last surgery we thought he was going to be good to go but it seems like the no moving be on bed rest you know strict they were just really strict on his movement stuff that it seems like it's causing other problems to his body so i'm a little stressed i'm very much worried um but yeah we'll get more information probably next week so right now i've been taking him to the doctors like every two days every three days you know they don't see him over the weekend so you know we went friday we went back monday we were there, you know, last Wednesday. So, yeah, it's just a lot again. So, I just, you know, super appreciate you guys so, so much. So, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little update in case you've been following our whole journey with that. So, all right. We'll see you later. Bye, guys.